Hey everyone, it's Giselle here, and I'm an ultrasound technologist, aka sonographer who lives out here in Las Vegas, and I love all things Disney. And today I'm just going to show you a quick video of what I do in the day of a life of a sonographer. Pretty much I choose my outfit of the day, yes, scrubs, got to make sure I have my Apple Watch, and really all you need is your brain, and maybe some pens. Don't forget your lunch if you're going to bring lunch. Or money if you're gonna buy lunch in your cafeteria but pretty much that's what I do my husband makes my food so I'm very very lucky and I put that into the fridge in the break room once I do that I make sure to check the schedule in the office and I see where I'm needed so sometimes I need it in the ER sometimes I'm assigned to other places to go around the hospital but this day I was assigned to the ER so I went all the way to the ER and what I do is just basically scan every patient that's on the list. What we do typically first are stats, which means they need to be done as soon as possible. And they're pretty much the patients that come through the emergency room. There are stats on the floor. Oh, don't mind my baby. There are stats on the floor, but pretty much those ones are gonna be done by other people who aren't in the ER and I stick to the ER. Right now I'm cleaning a vaginal probe because in the ER a lot of times we do vaginal exams and that's something that's very common that you do as a sonographer in the hospital. But yeah, I pretty much see which patient is ordered, find the patient wherever they are in the ER, and then I bring them to the room, make sure I have the correct patient, explain the exam to them, do the exam, and then write up my paperwork afterwards Make sure I clean up everything and then get the next patient. It's pretty much that over and over and over and over. So if you think it's boring, it's not because they typically order so many different exams. So in the ER, you can get anything from veins, artery scans um, to your belly scans, pregnant women, testicles on males. Um, you can get things like checking for DVTs, blockages, carotid arteries in the neck. We can sometimes do pediatric cases, so appendix, pyloric stenosis to see why babies are spitting up or throwing up so much. But really in the hospital setting, there's so much to do, so much to see. It's kind of like never ending. And if there are no stats, you typically do what is called a routine exam or something that's on the list that can be done at any time in the hospital so you're not really on a schedule like you would be at an outpatient but in the hospital you just scan what you can and typically we'll do anywhere from 12 to 15 or even more patients a day so yeah if you have any questions comment down below that's just kind of like a quick recap of a day in my life as a sonographer thanks for watching